It's a feeling that's flowing like a river Time to swap them dollar signs for dreams There's a river running through what I that flows through you and me I'm John Osborne broadcasting from Spokane, Washington. And finally I want to uh, talk today about another very pressing issue and that's uh, the PCB uh, pollution problem uh, of the Spokane River. Um, the PCBs uh, are an industrial compound. They're no longer in use, but they're per pervasive uh, in our environment. Uh, they're uh, no longer used uh, actively. They've been banned because of uh, the impacts on wildlife and on human health. Unfortunately, the Spokane River is heavily contaminated uh, with PCBs. It's probably the most contaminated water body uh, for PCBs in Washington state. And uh, as, you, as you walk along the river, you'll actually see the public health advisory signs uh, warning uh, people about uh, the fish and, and uh, warning them to be careful uh, about fish consumption. The languages are not just uh, of the warnings are just not not just in English, but they're in many languages because uh, Spokane is home to to many immigrant communities. Um, so, uh, despite the really tremendous amount of contamination, and despite eight years of efforts uh, to to get EPA to follow the Federal Clean Water Act and to to write a, a, a cleanup plan uh, for the state. Uh, we don't have a cleanup plan uh, for PCBs for the Spokane River. Um, the, part of the reason is that uh, it's Washington State and its Department of Ecology, which is uh, responsible uh, to actually do the, to write the, the cleanup plan and uh, the Department of Ecology uh, it has really uh, been so much under the influence of the, the dischargers, of the polluters, uh, it, that it has not done so. And it started to actually do a draft plan, uh, but then it stopped. And, and so in July of 2011, uh, Sierra Club and the Center for Environmental Law and Policy uh, uh, actually filed a 60-day notice under the Federal Clean Water Act to tell EPA that, that uh, these two organizations intended to compel EPA uh, to uh, do the cleanup plan called a TMDL or Total Maximum Daily Load. There is a reason for the timing here and that is because uh, Spokane County uh, was building a new source of pollution for the river. It's a, a sewage treatment plant. And they knew that they could not put another pipe in the river because the river is contaminated. And under the law, they can't do that. But with the agencies, both EPA and the state, looking the other way, uh, the county government uh, went ahead and spent $170 million dollars building uh, the sewage treatment plant with the pipe to the river. And so when we uh, filed the 60-day notice with uh, EPA, uh, the response from EPA was silence. So we waited, no, no action, and so in October, uh, we filed a federal lawsuit uh, against EPA for the failure to develop a cleanup plan for PCBs for the Spokane River. The response from EPA was silence. Again, uh, our intent was that EPA step in and uh, stop uh, Spokane County uh, and the Washington Department of Ecology uh, from permitting uh, the, the new sewage treatment plant that will dump more effluent, uh, more pollution to the river. Um, so in late November, the Washington Department of Ecology actually issued its permit 
for the sewage treatment plant, and that plant started operations. Um, in late December, uh, the local group of Sierra Club and the Center for Environmental Law and Policy filed the second lawsuit, this one in state administrative court, and those court proceedings are now underway. Um, it's interesting to note that um, the engineers for uh, the, the new sewage treatment plant knew that they might not get a permit. They knew that this would be illegal under the Federal Clean Water Act. So they actually have a backup plan, uh, and that plan is uh, to uh, reuse the water, uh, generally for industrial purposes, and then also to uh, move the water uh, to a, a controlled discharge and creating a wetland at a place called Salty's Flat, rather than what they're doing now, which is uncontrolled discharges uh, of effluent uh, containing PCBs into the Spokane River. And of course, what we'll see is continued uh, expansion of the dumping of this effluent uh, by this plant and by the uh, existing plant uh, downriver uh, that is run by the city of Spokane. And that's today's program. Thank you for listening. And thank you for caring about water, about the land, and about the future of our communities. It's a feeling that's flowing like a river. Time is swapping dollar signs for dreams. There's a river running through what I that flows through.